What is going on everybody? PPG and Pops back again and today we're going to be doing another target run at a completely different target. I am actually picking up, I had to drive to a little bit of a farther target today to pick up this Five Nights at Freddy's 2 pack. Uh, it's a Target Con Pop that just released this morning and we are here to pick it up and I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's make it into a video. Let me show you guys what they have and let's get into it. So guys, this pop I actually got for stupid cheap and I'll literally tell you how. So the pop actually came out this morning for, I think it came out this morning or last night for TargetCon. I think it was this morning. And basically I had money on my Target account. I had $9 on my Target account. So this pop, this two pack should have been like 25, 30. I got it for $15. So it was actually really good. I think it was supposed to be I think it was supposed to be 25 and it's a two pack Five Nights at Freddy's metallic Target Con exclusive that I placed the order on the app and I'm just going to pick it up and I was like screw it let me just go look at the pop section while we're here let me make a video because this is a different Target I've never been here so yeah let's go. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh guys. They have a house of drag. Guys, I think I'm gonna get this. And look what else they have. Oh, look what else they have. Oh my gosh. Spider Man No Way Home. They have a lot of Black Panther. But look how many of these they have. These are like the t shirt bundles. And look, this too. Wow, guys. They're actually stacked today. What is this? More Target Con stuff, guys. Wow, they actually have new things today. I'm actually really shocked. Um, because it's Target Con right now. That's why. But this is so cool. House of Dragons. I have a ton of House of Dragons pops. And then Demon Slayer. Oh my gosh. I gotta see. I'm, I might cop some of these guys. And then the t-shirt the bundle. That's really sick. They even have some backpacks up there. They have Target Con pop, um, pocket pops. Which are super cool as well. Wow, these are really cool, guys. And then down here, oh my gosh, they even have more. Oh my gosh, they have this. this is literally what I just what I just picked up, but it's very damaged. They have this. Oh my gosh, Darth Maul. It's a two pack Target Con. I might even cop this. I don't know. Should I cop this, guys? Because I have one over here. But oh my gosh, and then look more Target Cons. Oh my goodness, this might be a good pickup. Wow, guys, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know what I end up doing. Okay, everybody, we are back, we are in the car. I actually wanna show you guys everything that we picked up today because we ended up getting two more Target Con Pops than I originally was gonna get, so let me explain. So basically, I couldn't really wait to record this until I got home, so I wanted to show you guys right now. So I got a notification this morning when I woke up that Target Con was happening, and I love Target. You guys see, I always go to Target, and I can never find good pops at Target. It's always the same recycled stuff. So I ended up going on the app, and I ended up reserving and buying this Funko Pop, which is a metallic balloon freddy and balloon bonnie this is a target con 2023 limited edition exclusive this is normally 25 dollars i got it for 15 dollars because of the app i had money saved up on the app from like the target circle like every time i go in i put my phone number in and because of that i actually got this for really really cheap so this is awesome the only thing that sucks is it came like this and i literally went back to the girl um i went back to the lady and i was like hey i was like do you think you can get me a mint one that doesn't have a tear on the back of it and she checked and she said there are none so the vid the clip you just saw there was one more of these at the bottom of the shelf but the whole side of it was just creased up and it's just so unfortunate that target has such damage pops like i don't understand in my opinion i don't really fully agree with sometimes the target employees tell me oh it's the customers that don't that that damage the pops this is literally evidence that that is bs because this wasn't even on the floor guys so I had to go to a different section in Target to pick this up. Behind the register, she had to go back, like in the back of Target to get me this pop because it wasn't on the shelf. So it just really sucks that 
I don't know why. Like, like, so that is the first tear. And then something else on the side. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but there is a long crease on the side of it. And it's just super unfortunate. So it's like right there, if you guys can see. It's just really unfortunate. And I really don't understand why at this point, Target employees are not told what these Funko Pops are and the value of them and the collectability of them. Like, I don't understand why I reserve a pop and it comes ripped and it comes dented on the side. It's just, it's absolutely unacceptable, especially for people who are paying full price for this. Luckily, I only paid $15 for it, but originally this was like $25. Like, I don't know if I would pay $25 for that. I don't like them ripped. I don't like when it's teared. I don't like when there's a big crease on the side of it. I don't like that. I'm paying for a mint pop. It was literally behind the counter in the back of Target. Why is it damaged? I don't understand, but... Well, I just wanted to show you guys this because this is a really cool one. Um, I was looking on the Target Con links like on Twitter and nothing really caught my eye except for this one. I don't know. I saw this one and I was like, yo, this is sick. I actually didn't even know this pop existed until this morning when I clicked the link and I saw Five Nights at Freddy's 2-pack and I was like, ooh, the metallic one, it just looks really nice. So this was the first one we got. Um, I actually reserved that. So um, yeah, I was able to get that early. And then... Two more pops we got actually, which is Target Con pops, which I saw on the shelf and I showed you guys and I was like really excited. So the first pop we got is Caraxes. Caraxes. This is a Game of Thrones House of Dragon Day of the Dragon exclusive. Now, the only reason why I bought this is because I literally have almost the entire set at home. Um, I have like literally like almost all of them. There is still one that I am still looking for, um, the, the High Tower Girl. I'm looking for the Diamond Collection Walmart one. I could never find that one. It's nowhere to be seen. I could never find it. But uh, if I could find it, I definitely will cop it. I wanted this for the collection because I actually do collect this line. I do have like a lot of them, as I said before. So this is a really, really cool Fungal Pop. And I love the dragon. I, ha I actually do have the dragon as Cyrax. I have one of the dragons at home already. So... To see a Target Con 2023 exclusive and to see another one of these is just, it's so cool, man. And I, I really like this one. So this one I will definitely keep. I will definitely not sell this one because I like this one so much. This other one, I don't know what I'm going to do with this other one. This one, other one is pretty interesting. There was only one left. And this is actually a Demon Slayer pop. This is really, really cool. This is something different. I honestly don't even know where this came from there was only one this was the only one on the shelf so i was like you know what screw it we're gonna cop it why the hell not the only thing is on the bottom again there's a tiny bit of like a lip up like a little bit of like a like uh like the bottom has been like moved around a lot and you could just tell on the on this corner right here uh but it's not as bad as the five nights of freddy's one at all so these were on the shelf so the thing with these guys is I understand if these are damaged because these are these were on the shelf, but the Five Nights at Freddy's one was literally behind the counter, so that's the only reason why I was kind of annoyed. But that was everything we got today. Uh, so we got both of these pops, which um, all, only Target Con ones is the ones we got today. Uh, so those two, and I actually just noticed a little tiny bit of uh, of thing on the back of there. It's not always going to be mint. Each pop is not going to be mint. There's nothing you can do about it, especially if you go to Target. They're not always going to be mint. Um, I do like this a lot though, and this looks really nice from the front. Obviously, if you don't look at the back where it's ripped and you just look at the front, it does look really good. I can't believe the one on the shelf was so badly damaged. Like the sides were literally like this, but yeah, guys, so that's it for today. Um, it was Target Con. I got some pops. I'm really happy with these pops. Um, I really have been slowing down buying pops because I am out of space. I really don't have space anymore in my collection, in my room. I, um, I don't have space. So I've been selling pops behind the scenes because I just don't have space, guys. So unless I really like the mold and I really like the pop, most likely I'm just, I'm filming just to bring you guys out to show you what is in the wild for you to add to your collection. And, um, yeah, so this is something that I was really excited for and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is sick. So this is sick. So, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, happy Target Con. Go out there, go check your targets. You might have better luck than I do. Maybe you found a super mint Five Nights at Freddy's laying on your shelf. Who knows? But um, check your check your targets because you could be finding some fire fire pops and you don't even know. So thank you for watching. You're beautiful. You are amazing and you are awesome. You're awesome. And PPG and Pops out.